for today's video we come to Deep River North Carolina welcome back to the channel and welcome if it's your first time this will be my final video final day as far as North Carolina for this road trip I wanted to start here in this historic district called Coleridge it's among a busy highway you can hear the cars passing behind me but there's a ton of abandoned turn of the century turn of the last century buildings that stretch right up here next to the deep river a couple buildings over here I can hear the river from here maybe we'll take a look at that but here we are welcome to North Carolina hope you enjoy this video there's so much ahead what's left of an old bench just sitting right here in this former driveway two legs a couple legs missing down toward this end of the building some crumbled brick and the old fire hydrant check that out there's where the pipe goes into the side isn't that crazy it's pretty cool to see there are posted no trespassing keep out signs all over the doors and windows here not going to go too close. Just giving you a, a closer look at it here. And look at this rustic beauty. Mother Nature taking a toll upon it. All the ivy. It looks like it's an old general store. Enterprise Manufacturing Company. Check out the old glass here. Just going to pan down. Here's the front door. And I'm just gonna take a peek inside. This looks very dangerous. Oh my gosh. Look in there. Yeah, I'm just gonna let the camera roll so you can see it. Wow. Take a look at that. You can see the old general store ladder and shelves on the wall to the left. Isn't that amazing? Also, look at the ceiling. Looks like it's about ready to cave in up there. This is one of the, this is the room to the right. There's another room over here. Let's see if I can peek in through the windows. There you go. Looks like a office. May have been a former office to the filling station. There's a painting in there. Check that out. Painting of a barn. So cool. I walked a little down the hill. Gonna see if I can see the river from over this way. I can definitely hear it. There's another little building down here. Oh, that looks like a well house. I see a well in there. Let's check that out. Disgusting in there, but definitely a well house. I kind of want to peek down there. What do you think? I'm going to do it. I got to do it. Oh my gosh, don't drop anything. That goes, wow, that's a true well. Probably goes down to the river basin. The river right outside the window. Beyond that structure over there. There's a waterfall over there. It looks like some sort of a dam. Can't really see it. Obstructed from this angle. Zoomed in all the way. But I'm going to see if I can... Somehow get a closer look at that over there. Looks absolutely beautiful. Not much of a walkway alongside the busy highway. So I gotta be very careful. Watch where you step. Also, this building just keeps expanding. It's a lot bigger than I thought. A pretty deep drop right here off the side of the road in between this building. Look at this. Wow. That's impressive to see. Oh my gosh. I wish somehow we could get down there. It's, it's kind of dangerous. I'm like right on the side of the road. There's cars coming. I gotta be careful. I decided to give up on looking at the waterfall from over there. There's a seven foot, seven to eight foot fence down the ridge. Also, it's very dangerous right in there came over back to this side of the school and uh, this looks like a former loading dock 
I no longer think this is a school. I think this is a, an old factory just because of this loading dock. Look at this. Wow, look at the old door. Now this would be a great place to film a horror movie. What do you think? Old stone staircase. And it looks like you can walk back there a little bit. Looks like it's all grown up. Looks like a smokestack in there. Tree growing out of it. Still a lamp here hanging on this side above this entrance. Also, here are the steps that lead down to the road. And in case you were wondering where exactly I am, this is Junction 22. North Carolina Junction 22. The general store. It's just amazing. It's a beauty. And down around the corner, it looks to be an old factory or perhaps a mill. I can hear the water right over there. Not so sure if we can see the waterfall, but maybe the river. Oh my gosh. You know what this is? This is a powerhouse. It's using the water to generate power. There's the water flow right there. This is awesome. I'll get a little closer just in a second, but I just want to show you the power lines coming out here to this little uh, substation. Absolutely beautiful. All right, let's take a look at that. That water just pouring out of that pipe. Wow. No words. Just taking this all in. Also, there's a little nook down here. The water flowing in and out below the building. And this feeds out into a uh, deep river. The waterfall that I wanted to see we're not going to be able to see it from this angle. It's behind that tree line. Looks like there's a little outlet that feeds to this powerhouse, to this plant. For a second I thought it was abandoned, but it's actually a working powerhouse. I've never seen one of these on the reel. Water driven, that is. It's freaking sick. I zoomed in so you could see the flow of the water just pouring out of there. That is one heck of a water slide. You have to be so careful out here. One false uh, step and you're, you're toasted. You're falling all the way down there upon that rock. That's a, about a 30 foot drop. Absolutely beautiful. This is great. And just to give you a little rundown of what's going on, I'm actually on my way to Aberdeen, North Carolina tonight to walk through another haunted house. This video is actually back in the past. I don't normally do this, but I had a heavy haunt schedule the last three nights. And during the day, I wanted to film. I felt like releasing the haunt videos as they came out. And then a little backlog. The last video and this video was a few days back. I don't normally do that but I had to make do because I wanted to put out the haunt videos, Aberdeen and Woods of Terror out the next day. That being said, I'm probably on my way back to Florida. If not, I've already got there if you're keeping track of me. <laughs> and in route to my next stop, I found this old filling station on US Highway 220. Love the old time Coke sign right on the side of the service station. This one? A lot better shape than the last buildings we saw. Very cool. Also, the ladies room, formerly right there. It's probably still there. And before we get here, I stopped my car just to show you this sign because it tells you where we're going. Pisgah Covered Bridge. And we have bridge. Check it out. A little smaller than I thought, but absolutely beautiful. Quite a few people down here. Get out. Pigsaw Bridge. Little stream that runs below it. Back there is the road I turned off of. There's the bridge. Absolutely beautiful. The leaves are only just beginning to turn here. 
but imagine what this will look like in a couple, almost said couple leaves, <laughs> a couple weeks. Reminds me of the bridge from Beetlejuice. Creek bed's pretty dry. There's also a trail that goes that way. This is a park. And we're gonna cross over the bridge. Growing up in Indiana, there are a ton of uh, old cover bridges. And some of the country's oldest and longest. Actually, I shared one a couple years ago over near Seymour, Indiana, home of John Mellencamp, just on the outskirts is one of America's longest covered bridges. This one's pretty cool. It's one of the best shape covered bridges I've ever been in. Of course, there's always graffiti. Sign up there by the road says West Fork Little River. So there you go. The Pigsaw Bridge over that river. Very therapeutic just sitting right here along these wooden steps. Got lucky, got a beautiful day. This plaque placed before the trail just to the left of the bridge, Big Saw Covered Bridge Restoration Project, 1999. And it looks like someone created a birdhouse and left it here on this trail. Look at that. Also, I'm not alone back here. Further down the trail, a look down into the creek. A little more water right here. Not too much though, not too much. Just a little stream. Some big boulders. That's an island of boulders right out there. Okay, it's a short trail. It loops all the way around to the other side of the bridge. There's another bridge. Just a little down the creek. Down there's the Pigsaw Bridge also. Some folks taking, looks like pictures out here. Quinceanera maybe. Walking back over the bridge. Also getting Sleepy Hollow vibes. Ooh. Honestly, just looked back to make sure there wasn't a headless horseman coming for us. Oh, fresh corn. Back of that trailer. Oh, it smells so good. Nice little farm here. Also listening to the Rays game. I'm for you to win this game, and now you didn't take it. So now my I'm baseball buddy out of the blue, scoring Ryan at the game in Cleveland. It's the 10th inning, extra inning. It's 0-0, and I'm really nervous. If they lose, the outfield is shallow. All the season's over. If the Rays lose, now in Rockingham, there's an old mill right off the side of the road here, coming up on it. It's on a steep bridge right there. That's what I'm here for. I'm gonna see if I can climb down in there. Before I do so, I'm gonna sit here. I've got good cell signal, haven't had it most of the day. We are still in the 10th inning, extra inning here. In the Rays Guardians game, 0-0. Zero, zero. Okay, I think if I walk back down this way, I'll find the ruins at the bottom of the hill. I parked my car back up there. This is right off the side of a highway. There's a day's end. Also, I can hear a river. This is an old mill we're going to. I see some of the wall here. Ivy growing up on it. Oh, there's some brick in there too. Looks like someone's recently mowed this, making it a whole lot easier. Some manholes sticking up. I hear water falling out that way. I think if I walk down here and around, might get a better look at this thing. Oh, in here there's a wall. Okay, making my way around this corner here. Just noticed this. Did a quick search online. This is the Great Falls Mill, or what's left of it. I'm gonna try to get all the way around this thing. Some graffiti on the wall right here in this cove. Okay, there's a hole. Oh, okay, here's an opening here. And be uh, very careful. Oh wow, that's a drop. Let's see if I can get the camera out there a little bit though. Oh yeah. Wow. Goes down towards the river. Let's see if I can, I think I can get around this other way. 
Someone made a bridge here, but it's fallen. I think I can still make it through there. Oh boy. All right. Not a bad trail. Just have to duck down a little bit. I've been in worse situations. Another wall over here. Peek my head up here. Oh wow. No one's been back here in a while. Look at this. That's amazing. All the ivy growing up. Another wall over here to the left. Okay, here's a clearing. Should see a lot right here. Oh, holy cow. That's beautiful. You know what this reminds me of? Look at this. Reminds me of Hagrid's Universal Studios Islands of Adventure. Speaking of that, shout out to Krista Girl. She's making a vlog at Universal Studios today. This is absolutely beautiful. Wow, I can hear the falls down there. Not so sure how far we can get down there, but I, I'm thinking, thinking if we go down a little bit this way, I think I can get pretty close. I think I can get down in there. Before I do so, zoomed in on the brick so you can see the detail a little closer. Two mills today. This looks like it would have been the far wall. So here you go. Just to show you how large this building used to be. Right there. And then some over here. That's all the debris I walked past. Also, good timing on the weather. The sun in the west right now. It's really lighting it up. Walking through this patch here. Not sure what plant this is. Chris the girl would know. I think I'm gonna walk through here. There's a little trail. Oh yeah, I can see the waterfall. Really gotta watch your step here. This is absolutely beautiful. Holy cow. Came over to the left from the trail I was just walking down. Let's give you this shot here. It's pretty amazing. You can see the waterfalls through the bottom set of windows right there. See it? Another wall just covered by all the uh, leaves here. So I'm taking a turn Whoa. through here. I gotta step up over the wall actually. Holy freaking cow, that's beautiful. That's amazing. Okay, I made it. Be very careful, folks. You happen to come out here, watch your step. But enjoy it. Looks like if I walk through the floor here, through the building, go to the right, I'll be able to see the waterfall. I'm noticing there's like uh, some gutters still hanging there, a couple of ducks and whatnot. We are now in the belly of the beast. Straight walk through here. It's about knee high. like a doorway up there to the left. Former doorway. Washing my feet. The waterfall. Getting louder. All right. Show's getting a little easier right here. Oh wow, look at this wall. A lot of graffiti over here in the corner. Back that way. Heading towards the waterfall. Oh wow. 
There's something in that window though. Let me show you that. Okay, going in. Looks like an old, oh wow, that's one of the old, don't know the verbiage, but that's some kind of gear for the old mill. I might be able to see that on the other side. Some sort of gear or turbine maybe. That's amazing, just laying down here. Okay, nice little trail here. Whoa, brick everywhere. I don't know how too far Oh, of course, blocked. All right, we gotta see that waterfall. Gotta be careful. This is definitely the roughest stretch right through here. A lot of rock and debris. That took some time just to go that few feet. Back there is that turbine just laying back there. You can kind of see some of it. It's very dangerous. I'm gonna sacrifice that to go this way over to the waterfall, which you can see it right through there. Here it too. Yeah, I got the wrong shoes for this. Oh. Oh my God. Holy cow. You can see what I'm about to see, folks. Gonna get it a little closer. Will you look at that? That's some kind of an aqueduct built probably to feed the mill that's part of the old mill itself that wall goes all the way and connects to this amazing feels great right here too absolutely gorgeous one of the coolest things I've ever seen The water just pouring out of there. Wouldn't want to go through there. Moved over to the right a little bit. I'm noticing a lot of trash back here, sadly. People come back here um, and appreciate themselves more than they do what's around them. If you uh, come back to a place like this, I mean, this goes for anywhere, but if you're gonna make all that effort to come back and admire something so beautiful, why would you tarnish it? Don't do that. And there's the stream leading out into the woods. A lot of rock over here. This is pretty much as far as we can go. What an old mill. This is great. And one last look. I'm gonna take a few pictures right here. Before I head back. There you go. Wow. Sun's really lighting that up. Okay, now it's time to head back. Oh boy. <laughs> Never as easy going up the hill as it was coming down. Oh boy. I should make it though. I should make it. This is so worth it. I don't even feel like I'm in North Carolina right now. We could be anywhere. But, as long as we're anywhere together, appreciate you guys. Thanks for watching, always, no matter where I go. It means a lot to me. Oh, ooh, gotta be careful. Ooh. Take a few more pictures before I get out of here. Gotta post them on the gram and whatnot. All right, see you, Hopper Mill. It does look a lot 
like Hagrid's. Back into it. And back over to the fallen bridge. All right, made it to the clearing. Whoo! So much fun. Whoa. Whoa. And Rays are now in the 12th inning with the Guardians, so. Gonna be getting back to the car and listening to that right now. And a short walk down to those ruins from the highway, the intersection. That's uh, Highway 1 up there. And there's also a Mexican grill over here called the Taco Factory, which I might grab something to eat. Just wanna show you, you can easily park and walk down to get to the ruins. Look at that beautiful Florida sunset. We're back home. So gorgeous. Wow, just crossed the line. About to stop at the rest stop over here. Look at that sun, right at sunset. And just like that, the road trip ends. It's good to be back home. If you enjoyed this video, do me a favor, give it a thumbs up. And if it was your first time, subscribe below and come on back because there is so much ahead, my friends.